Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the custom Casey Neistat Samsung Galaxy 9 Note. Well, it's like a regular Note, but we customized the, it's a clear back and we made it awesome. Okay, Casey customized phone. Bigger news, we have a hundred of them. I mean, this isn't a hundred, but there's like 85 more in a box right there. And we're giving all of them away. These Welcome to the episode today. Uh, I'm not feeling 100% better, but I am definitely, uh, definitely improving. It's a nice day out today, so I decided to get out of the, the studio, get out of my place, and get out. And uh, I want to do that review, that, that iPhone user to, uh, to Samsung. I want to do that review, so that's, uh, that's what I have planned for the day. Okay, well, first things first is that like, uh, the, the, the one thing I, I kind of wish Samsung had was something like iMessage. Like, I like to text on my, on my laptop sometimes when I'm at the desk. So, in order for me to do that, iMessage is the best way to do that. I don't know if Samsung has something. I don't believe... Am I like overexposed? I don't believe... Is that better, by the way? I don't believe Samsung has something like that. If they did... Uh, I would do that and not touch my iPhone ever again. But let me know. Uh, today's a full, as much as I can, comprehensive review of an iPhone, an avid iPhone user. I love iPhone. An avid iPhone user using the, using Samsung. I think this path in here is like really beautiful. That's the reason why I decided to go here. I think it would make great scenery for for today's vlog. I mean, look at it. that I do like about the Samsung without even it without even, without even the Samsung in my hands is it fits in my front pocket right now I have the Samsung in my, in my front pocket the iPhone in my back pocket the iPhone it's like so thick and like it doesn't fit in my front pocket like I mean it does but it doesn't feel right there the Samsung feels fine in my front pocket and I kind of like that I, I, I like to I don't know, it's a nice change for, for a little bit. So, so, so that's one thing that's great about, about the Samsung. It fits in my front pocket, and I even have my wallet in front of it. So, it's thin enough to, to accommodate that. The uh, the other great thing I like about the Samsung is it's like, it's slippery, but not too slippery. I feel like it's gonna fall out of my hands, so it's easy to take out of the pocket. And uh, the other thing that I think Apple should definitely take a note of. Let me get up in here. I mean, even with the case, and this case is very thin, look at the size difference. I'd much rather carry this around every day than this around. I just, I just like the, I like it, how it connects to all my devices. And listen, I know that I'm like, this phone came out in 2018, I know I'm like two years behind, but I, I've been so reluctant to try Samsung until recently, I just got fed up with Apple and the iPhone and the plan's ob obsolescence and that every time I feel like that's a nice car. 
every time that I feel like I want my iPhone to work, the battery overheats or just stops working, or every time I think there's gonna be an issue, there is an issue. I go to Apple, they wanna spend more money on a repair or a new phone, and I don't want that. I wanna buy a phone and have it forever. You're probably too young, but do you remember the Nokia phone? That thing was near indestructible. You could throw that thing out of an airplane and that thing would survive. Why can't phones be like that anymore? And the other thing is, I know I was playing around with the settings last night on, on the Samsung phone. The settings are so much better than an iPhone. I mean, like, the battery saving mode on the Samsung is so much better than the one on the iPhone. The one on the iPhone is just a battery saver. The one on the Samsung actually has, like, it'll tell you how long it'll last, it'll tell you what it's doing. It'll give you all those demographics, which I think is amazing. Just amazing. <laughs> And the other, uh, another thing is that I, uh, I like about the Samsung phone is, like, the home screen. Now, I, I have an issue with, like, the Apple home screen, which is, like, which is, like, it, it's a 4 by 6 so it's 4 by 6 but I have friends who have a lot of apps that are in folders and you have to go through. What I like about Samsung, and I don't know if it's just an Android thing in general, but I noticed it on this phone, is you can select... You're like, you can select, it's 4x5, four 4x6, five, 5x5, four by five by five, and 5x6. Five by six. So there's a lot you can do with the, with the sample, like you can customize it. And it's really nice to be able to customize it, like, really in depth like that. The, uh, the iPhone doesn't allow you to do that as easily. And, and I noticed that's something I like. I, I like to be able to, I like to be able to customize my phone as much as possible. I know this is a small thing, but it's a it, to me it's a big deal. Do you see this icon right here? They have a headphone jack on this. To get rid of the headphone jack, Apple is. Do you hear that noise? Oh. To get rid of the headphone jack, Apple, that's really annoying to me because I listen to so much music with like six different types of headphones. And to, I now have to bring this little dongle around. And you know how many, do you know how many of these I've been through? I've been through like six or, like I've, I lose these things all the time because they're small. I unplug them from my headphone, I throw them in a the backpack, and then it just turns into the abyss. I don't know where these things go, but they walk away and it's really annoying. So, so to have the headphone jack on here already is like, it's so, so good. I, I feel like when like the iPhone first came out to get rid of the headphone jack would be like stupid. And now every like, just have them, don't do that. Uh, I was out to lunch and I realized, uh, do you see the, uh, you see that? I just wanted to do this on camera because I know it's so satisfying. Is that all of it? Ooh, I love doing that. Um, I just had to do that on camera. Uh, but you can, you can. <laughs> Hello. How are you liking it? The lighting is like so dramatic right now for you. The only problem I have is that it's not Apple. If Apple were to do something like this, I'd be all about it. Um, it's that's nice the whole home. point of this video. It's not Apple. That's the point of the video. We're doing a avid Apple. I'm doing a. I'm doing like an avid Apple iPhone user using Samsung. That was the whole idea of the video. So uh, it's great though, right? It's so much better than an iPhone. How is it? How is it better? Because the, it's better. No. Yeah, it is. No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. What? You wanna fight? Uh -huh. Catch me outside, how about that? Yeah.
get you outside. So uh, you're messing with the phone. I am. That's what I should be doing, but that's why you're around. Yeah, but you're editing. It's fine. How uh, how do you like it? Okay, now that you've messed with it a little bit, it's a little bit better, right? Uh. What did you just figure out? All right, so notification or the navigation bar at the very bottom of the screen. Yes. Yeah. It's easy to hide if you want a full screen of whatever app you're using. Dude, that's pretty dope. I like that. Apparently, you can also change the color of the navigation bar. Can you? Nice. They're like Slight so part. slight though. Yeah. Man, that's kind of cool though. And if you just want it there forever, or yeah. However, you can however show it was, I like when you can hide it and take it away, or like that? put it away and put it. Okay, so all in all, playing with the features in this phone and using iPhone forever, like, I really like this phone. I really like this phone. I like, I like how customizable it is. I like the, 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 the feeling, it's it's an OLED, as, as Cole said. It's OLED, so it feels really nice. Um, the contrast of the screen's really great. Um, overall, I think, and I'm not just saying this about the Note 9 in particular, I'm just kind of generalizing other than iPhone, like anything like this other than iPhone, um, that it's 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 nice to like have that switch up. Will I switch to this permanently? That I don't know. I, this is an active number, um, and, and I don't use this. No, I, I don't use this number a lot, but it is an active number. Uh, this is like my personal number on here. Um, I really really enjoy this phone. Um, so. That's my comprehensive review. I think I'm gonna love this phone. I think I'm gonna switch to this phone permanently, I think. Um, uh, Parker and I are gonna do a comprehensive review on the cameras on on iPhone and specifically the Note 9, this phone. So uh, stay tuned for that video. But uh, as an avid iPhone user, as an, as an iPhone user, I've been using iPhone since the iPhone 4. I love the iPhone. This, I think this has changed the game for me. I think, I, th I really think this is, the, I really like, I don't know about the iPhone. I,